do what it do. Ooh, ooh, it's your girl Jackie, and I'm back for. I'm back to be back. I'm back for. I'm back to be back. I'm back for another video for you guys today. Hold on, let me go get my microphone. I'll be right. Back. I'm back, you guys. I was, I was just scared, you guys. My mic fell into the sink, you guys. I got dishes in the sink that needs to be washed. And I thought it fell into some water. I was about to say, uh-uh, 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 uh you guys. So we're having a really slow morning right now. Just went out and got some eggs real quick because we were all out of eggs. I didn't feel like going fall to Walmart. And we went and got dog food. Was not filmed. It's a real slow, slow morning right now. I got my son in front of the TV watching, having fun, learning. Like, that's one of my favorite things on YouTube my favorite channels on youtube for my son to watch all that other stuff i'd be like ryan world and google gaga be garbage they have my son going out of control sometimes you just need to learn you just need to watch something calming and learning that's how i feel right now i'm about to do some of these dishes and make breakfast you guys so come follow me yeah you guys so i'm washing the dishes right now I was wondering, should I film this? Because, you know, he's listening to that in the background, and I don't want no copyright. You know, I I don't need no copyright. I want to make all the money I can on this. I actually have a goal for myself on YouTube. Like, so far on YouTube, I've been making, like, a, anywhere from $150 to 100 like, 80 bucks every two months. You know, every two months I've been getting paid since I've been monetized. And I want to bring that up, so I don't know if I'm going to bombard you guys with content. I think that may be bad, you guys. I don't want to bombard you guys with content and then my views go down. That's not something that I want. But I know I want to make a lot more money on YouTube. I don't know if I have to branch out on my content and do other things like you guys already know. Like The 90% 90, 90 of what my channel is is shop with me. Like, for real, like, I can do other things and shop with me. Because I have a lot of goals for myself. Like, I want to start, like, making at least, at least. Like, I know this is a jump. There's a number that's jumping up there because I'm making, like, what, 150 every two months. I want to at least start making $800 a month on YouTube, you guys. And I'm not just saying I'm going to make $800 on YouTube. I'm coming up with a plan step by step by step. Like, I want to make more videos. I want to make new content. Like, I'm coming up with a plan because I, I want this. I need this. I, I'm i coming up with the $800. $800 is not just a number that I'm throwing up out of nowhere. $800 will be enough money for me to send my son to the school my daughter goes to every month, you guys. So that is my goal, to have him in that school. In the school before the school year ends, you guys. And so he can experience it at least before kindergarten. Something my daughter did. My daughter didn't go to this school, but she went to another school. Another Christian school that I pay for, you guys. She went from when she was three until she was four, until the kindergarten. I switched her school to the ones that she's in now because it's a lot bigger school. Um, I felt like <clears throat> it was a lot bigger school. Um, I felt like it had a lot of things that the other school didn't have and a lot of things my daughter can do. So that's why I switched her. Like the other school was a real small school. It barely had like 100 students. And now the student, now the school she goes to now has 700 students, even though it's from K to 12. Like, I think it's more than 700 students. I don't know, but yeah, it's just a bigger school, a lot more to offer. And I want my son to experience um, pre-K. Uh, I already feel like in the dumps all the time because he does not, he did not get to experience. Half of what his sister has experienced, and that makes me alive all the time. Like, my daughter already has a lot more advantages over my son. From the things she did, from the opportunities she had, 
at that time, I'm, I just had the money to go to the aquarium all the time and go to the zoo and go out and do things for my daughter that I don't don't have the money to do now for my son. But that's okay because I'm coming up with a plan to do so. I I also taught my daughter, but I felt like with the help of the school behind it, like in preschool, with the help of the preschool behind it, and not just me teaching her in here by myself, she was able to learn faster than what my son is learning now because it's just not me because sometimes, I'm going to be honest, I'm lazy. Like, this is the first time we're doing schoolwork in like a week and a half. Like, in a week and a half, what have I been doing? Like, I that kills me also. That kills me also. And I just need to get my priorities right and get my life right, y'all. That, that makes me, like, sometimes I just be like, yo, Jackie, what you doing? Like, you have 24 hours in a day. At least 12 hours with him because he sleeps 12 hours you know, nap and um, going to sleep at night. He, you can be doing what you need to do, Jackie. Stop making excuses. And I'm not, but I just feel like having a... You, you do? You want to pour some milk? I mean, you some milk and me some orange juice? You don't want to pour them? You want to pour them? All right, you guys. We're about to pour us something to drink. Let me stop these dishes and wash my hands. And we're going to pour some drink. He drink. He likes milk in the morning. I like orange juice in the morning. I wasn't really a milk drinking kid. Probably because in my house we never had fresh milk. The only milk we had was canned milk. My parents, I can't recall my parents ever buying fresh milk. For us. Yeah. I know I would drink all the fresh milk, so I don't think that's why I didn't drink fresh milk growing up as a kid. I don't think I even drank the milk at school, you guys. I think I always drank chocolate milk at school. Like, I've never drank, like, straight-up milk. But I'm proud that my kids can drink straight-up milk. All right, I'm going to go get these cups. I'll be right there. Okay. Be right back. Let's, you going to pour my orange juice first on your milk? No, you can't bo pour both for Which one? Milk. Milk. No. I am. I'm going to let you do it by yourself. By but I'm going to hold your cup. Yes, I'm All right, that's enough. That's enough. Ooh, that's a lot of milk you poured yourself. Mm. You want a straw? Go get a straw. I won't let any fly. You know where the straws are? Yeah. Hurry up. I want to drink too. Why? Why do you put the straws? I put the straws up too high? Yeah. Why do you do that? I can wait. Here. Yeah. Get your own straw. Well, I'm, I'm, I know how a monkey reach. Well, you know how a monkey reach? I don't know what monkey reach is. I know how a monkey Monkey climb. You know how to climb like a monkey? Yes. All right, drink some. <laughs> You're going to drink a lot more than that, man. It's going to spill. Okay. Let's get to my orange juice. I don't want a lot, okay? I do not want a lot. All right, that's enough. Thank you. Ah, oh, I said that's enough. You <laughs> always trying to do the opposite, y'all. Yeah, mix up your milk. Go take your milk. Go put your milk back. Come on. Go put your milk back.
I, I'm not gonna leave it open. Y'all was doing a whole lot of talking, and this was not even on, you guys. Like I was saying, that I just got finished doing the dishes, you guys. Well, my first round of dishes, as y'all know, I've been sick, so I haven't really been doing dishes because I don't like dishes. And when I'm sick, I don't feel like doing them at all. And then I'm done with my first round of dishes. Right now, I'm about to make breakfast for me, my son, and my husband. My husband is having bacon, sauces, and eggs. Me and my son is having an egg sauces grit bowl. That is what I'm about to do right now. Something else you're supposed to be learning. No, I put on something else. Oh, I put on something else? Okay, I'll be right there. The sausage. His baking, you guys. You know, nothing special. Just your regular, regular, great value. Hold on, I'll be right back. The TV changed, and we're going to put on something else for my son that is educational. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm back in the back. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get this out of here real quick. <clears throat> I got to get me one of those fancy containers off of Amazon. You know, those fancy containers those people who are aesthetically perfect have. That they put their bacon in because that would save me a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble, okay? I didn't have any Ziploc bags, so... Oh, my phone is dying. Let me plug this bad boy in. Plug in, baby. Plug in. You can't die on me. Not now. I need you. I need you. Cleaning off that right there. What was I saying? I don't even remember what I was saying, y'all. Was I talking about Oh, so I don't have any Ziploc bags right now that can fit my bacon, so I put some plastic wrap around it to keep it fresh. You know, me and my ghetto self. That's not really ghetto, that's inventive, okay? That's exploring outside the box, out of the box. <clears throat> I already lost my voice once, you guys. It sounds like I'm going to lose my voice again. Messing with this cold I got. Alright, that done. Put some of the sausages in here. Have you guys already started decorating for Christmas? I already know you have. I already know a lot of you have. I already know some of y'all moms just be on it. Some of y'all moms be on it. I'm not on it right now. I'm not on it. I have done really no decorating other than put out my tree and my mantle piece. Oh, and this little um, <clears throat> this little thing that I got from um, my little snowman that I got from. Dollar Tree that's on the countdown to Christmas. I, that's what I've gotten up so far. Another thing else, no decorations outside, no nothing around the stairs, nothing around nowhere else, you guys. I'm trying not let the sickness ruin the joy of Christmas, you guys, because my kids are going to have a good Christmas no matter what. A lot of things have happened and they, that wanted to stop that, but it, nothing going to stop that because, baby, what's for me is for me, and it's going to happen. What is for my kids is for my kids. 
You hear me? What is for my kids? What is meant to happen? What they're going to have is for them. Even if the tree don't, underneath the tree don't look like it normally does, it's still going to be a good Christmas. No matter what. You hear me, y'all? No matter what my kids is going to have. Oh, what a great Christmas. So I put a little oil in the pan because I'm about to make the eggs. You guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? So don't let Haley have a great Christmas because she mean. Now your sister need to have a great Christmas too. Everybody is going to have a great Christmas. Yeah. Have y'all seen that TikTok where the father's looking at everybody else's stocking? <clears throat> Can y'all see me? <clears throat> that the father's looking at everybody else's stocking and see this one empty stocking and go to his wife and say, Whose stocking is this? She said, Oh, mine. He said, Why there isn't nothing in there? So she didn't, didn't get me anything. I'm like, That is every mother on Christmas. Every mother. No, some people, some people have this. Are emotionally empathetic, but you want to get me a microphone? Cool. Every Christmas that I had so far with my kids, I'm watching my kids open up presents. I'm watching my husband open up presents, and I'm just sitting there. Hold on, hold on. Oh no, these are daddy's food. This is daddy's food. We're gonna have our sauces in a little bit. No, move away from the fire. That is me. That is me. Every Christmas, I'm watching everybody else open up stuff. Hold on, baby. So that's what that is. Now I'm about to do the eggs in this pot. Do all this pot in this pot got real hot. Eggs, eggs, eggs. These eggs stink. Boy, why do these eggs stink? I gotta move quick. This pan hot. I gotta go to Walmart, you guys, and get my big eggs. Y'all already know my 60 count. Because that's what holds us out. Everything else can't hold us out. Your family, I like to eat eggs for breakfast in the morning. My daughter doesn't like regular eggs, but she'll eat the hell out of boiled eggs. She ain't playing with no boiled eggs, y'all. Regular eggs, she don't care so much about, like scramble, fried, none of that. She don't care that much about those eggs. But give her a boiled egg, she gonna tear that baby up. Ain't nothing better than a boiled egg to her. Mm, I gotta move fast, move fast, Jackie. Yeah, I wanna learn new recipes. I've been doing the same funky recipes for a few years now. I wanna learn new recipes for my kids, you guys, to give them more variety. That's one thing I wanna do this year, this new coming up year. Cause y'all know I ain't the best cook in the world at all. At all, not even close to it. I got my few meals I can make, like my macaroni and cheese. Um, I can, I can do that. I can do that, y'all. My macaroni and cheese be out there. Um, I got a few meals that I make all the time that are really good: smothered chicken, um, beef stew. I'm about to be that fried chicken girl. After watching a few videos on TikTok, but yeah, I want to like. Really dive into this cookie thing. To make a whole lot of things for my kids. And let me make this food. Like, I wasn't trying not to get the eggs to stick to the pot, you guys. I heated it up and everything, put some oil in it, and it's still sticking. Girl, why? I need some new pots, y'all. I think once I, once I, like, I start making real money on YouTube, real money, you know what real, real money is, I'm going to buy, I'm going to invest in some really nice pot for myself.
go check this man's sausage and bacon real quick. They're cooking good, they cooking good. What y'all eating for breakfast? Write it down below what y'all eating for breakfast. Let a girl know what's your favorite thing to eat for breakfast. Right now, my favorite thing to eat for breakfast is a grit bowl. But a lot of y'all already know that because I made that grit video not that long ago. That is like my favorite thing to eat now in the morning. I put some bacon in it, some sauces, some eggs, some grits. You know what it is. It's a good thing. I'm going to get to eat, y'all. I'll be back. Yeah, I just finished eating. My food was delicious. I ate a little too much. I was telling myself, Ooh, you're not going to eat again until dinner time. Until dinner time. <coughs> My son ate all his food, too. He ain't left nothing. He ain't left nothing, y'all. He ain't left nothing. I'm about to clean up his little area. He didn't get to clean it up. He ran. He saw his grandmother, and he ran straight up with her, and he going to go hang out with her. That's what he going to do. Even though I, I wanted him to do some work, that's okay. That's all right. So let me pick up his little stuff, y'all. Should wait for him to come back and do it. Like I told you, I got my man tool and my tree right there. And I also got my two little small trees. I think this weekend I'm going to take the opportunity to decorate my house, make it more festive for my kids. And I have to go out and get a new... Um, a new tree skirt because my dog thought it was his in the garage. Like, I, I got out a whole bunch of the Christmas stuff and I piled it up. My, if y'all don't know, my dog sleeps in the garage because I don't trust him in my house at night. Don't trust him. He can be in the house in the day. But at nighttime, he take his ass in the garage, okay? He take his ass in the garage, okay? He got a nice, he got a nice um, blow-up bed in there that he sleep on. It's not blown up, but it's one of those blow-up beds that he sleep on. He got a blanket. He got everything in there. <clears throat> so, what I was saying, so I took out all my Christmas stuff. I was feeling the holiday season, right? I was like, I'm going to take it all up. I'm going to put it up and make my house life really festive. So, I have that out. While he in there, he going to take it from the pile, y'all, of the Christmas stuff that I got in there and start playing with it. And it's all ripped. It's all ripped. So I'm just going to have to get a new Christmas skirt. It's okay. It's my fault. He a dog. He a dog. And I know he a dog. So let me show you some of the stuff that came in in the mail for our Christmas, you guys. There's just some stuff that I brought for my son also because it is getting cold and he needed some boots. Okay, let me show you guys. Right here. These are the things. These are my son things. My daughter things are upstairs. I got some matching pajamas. I got this green and white pattern set. And I got these set right here. I love me a button down pajama. You can't tell me nothing about a button down pajama. These are my sons right here. We all going to wear these ones on Christmas Day. But I like to get holiday pajamas around the holidays, you guys. This one's so cute. I got these from Carter's. I got a size um, small for my daughter. It was too big. So I had to go and order um, a size. I had to order a size extra small for her, you guys. And that small one I'm going to keep and wear for Christmas. And in the process, since I was getting like a pajama for Christmas, I ordered my mother-in-law and my husband also a pajamas. So we're all going to be matching on Christmas Day. Let me go back into showing you guys this stuff. Got my son some Nike boots that was on sale on Kohl's, you guys. They came and I was like, why this right here looks so plasticky? Like, why couldn't they make it leather? I didn't notice that it was not leather. Leather, you guys. I was like, this is what I get for being cheap, you guys. I should have just got him some, some Tim's <clears throat> and spent an extra $20 and got him some Tim's, y'all. But they're still cute. Everybody thinks they're still cute. Nice for him to wear. Cute. This is something I have to return from Target. I have to fix it before I return it. These are pajamas that didn't fit my daughter, you guys. They were too small. Um, the size that I got for my son fit, you guys. And that's some of the stuff that came in so far for Christmas. I got a lot of things to order. There's my little tree with a sock in it. <laughs> you know how life is. Don't judge me. 
And here's my other little tree. Keep it moving. Now I just finished buying all the kids in my family, like the nieces, the little cousins, their little presents. And y'all, when they grow up, they growing up and they want some really big things. <laughs> oh my goodness. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Your cousin ain't got it right now. Your auntie ain't got it right now. What you got is a $50 gift for me. <clears throat> $50 for everybody. That's what I got. That's what look, that's what I got. That's what I got. Oh. Yeah. So after that and after I'm done paying all my bills, all my bills came out. I'm waiting for all my bills to come out. I'm going to go shopping for my kids. I'm going to actually look at my finances after every thing comes out, everything, and see how much I have for food left or how much I have for... Um, I should have done this in the beginning of the month, but, you know, there's extra expenses that came and that happened and the whole car situation. I'm waiting for that, too, to see how what the exact price is going to be. And then after that, I'm going to go Christmas shopping. Like, my daughter's getting mostly clothes. She's at the age where she wants clothes, mostly, and gift cards. <clears throat> but she's not getting any gift cards. She's only getting clothes. <clears throat> and I'm getting my son some toys with clothes, basically. It's still going to be a good Christmas. We're going to still have all the little Christmas holiday things like gingerbread house. I'm going to make it happen. Mama going to make it happen. My, if mama got a cut somewhere, mama's going to make it happen. Mama always makes it happen. Every Christmas, no matter what, I always make it happen. I remember last Christmas, I had to go to the blood bank. And, and not the blood bank, the plaza. Blood plaza? 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 Plasma? I had to go to the plasma center, right, and donate blood. Not blood, plasma. But mama made it happen, y'all. Mama made it happen. I'm not trying to go to the plasma center this year. Not this year, y'all. <laughs> and because y'all, they left me. I'm just honest. I'm not going to even lie with y'all. I went to the plasma center. They were giving out, uh, um, it was uh, for new donors. It was like $1,100 that month you'll get. And I was like, baby, sign me up. Sign me up. Find me up. Yeah, me and my son laying on the couch. He's covering the blanket over here and watching the tablet. I'm over here about to take a little, little close my eyes section. <laughs> a few minutes, but I got some laundry going because we're about to head outside. We're about to go to Opelika, you guys, and check out some things to get some things. Go to the park? We may even go to the park, Jaja. Let's see how cold it is when we step outside, okay? First, we're going to go pick up my daughter, and then we're going to take ourselves to Opelika. Um, she want to get a FNAF toy for her friend. They're doing an exchange. And the only place that has the toy is the GameStop and Opelika. So we're going to go there, and we're going to check that thing out. And we may even check out the mall. But right now, I need a little close my eyes section because I've been off, y'all, and I'm tired. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh no, there you go again, I'm putting all in the pen, slow mo.